and gentlemen, here we are. This is Lawrence and Gardens. Time to visit Big Boy 4023 and DDA 40X 6900. So, um, probably gonna get out of breath or something. Got a lot of stairs to climb. Actually, these stairs are easy. It'll be just fun. The reason I'm filming now is because there's a bunch of placards and stuff to show on the way up to the units. These stairs are not bad. All right. History of Union Pacific and Omaha. Here's what it looked like at one point. There's the units right up here, so let's get up there. Kenneth Park, pictures of the units up here. I can see a Gibson Yard down there. BNSF Gibson Yard, I was just there. Got some good video from down there. this batching center and here we are here's the units themselves they are massive there it is big boy 4023 let's get up close with this thing take a look at the cab and stuff Unfortunately, here is what we can kind of see inside the big, big boy. So now, let's move on over, get a look at 6900. If I can find the bell, I'm going to ring it. Obviously, there's the whistle on the big boy. And the bell's at the front. That's probably... Oh, there's a BNSF yard job down there moving back and forth. Maybe I can get some clips of him. I did bring my camcorder, but I'm doing this on my phone because it's it's better for more close-up shots than uh, than my uh, than my camcorder. Right, well, here it is. Forty twenty-three. Let's walk around that longest thing. These big boys are absolutely massive. I'm about six foot tall, and uh, I'm about as tall as the each drive wheel. And uh, I was saying the other day, you don't, it's not often you get up this close with locomotives, and this is an extreme case for Big Boy 4023. You know, it almost feels bigger than 4014 was because maybe because it was moving, but when they're stopped, there's no noise from them, you can just get this close. It's really amazing. Even if it's not a big voyage, if it's just a normal locomotive, it's sure neat. I'm not sure if you can see there, but it does say UP 4023, and the headlight has been, the rear headlight's been removed, unfortunately. Yeah, let's go back this way. Gibson Yard is down there. 
hopefully that yard job comes back over and maybe get some video of it. So, let's go take a look at 6900, the DDA40X. I'm going to end this video real, real quick here. I'm going to get some pictures then we'll take a look at it. Alright, 6900. Let's take a look. Massive DDA40X. Cab's way up there. I'm not actually sure where the bell on these locomotives is or was. So, if I do find it, then I do. Obviously, the walkway there through the middle. Very cool. You never really see that in any diesel locomotives. Massive trucks. Got a nice bench here. Here's the rear of the unit. So obviously, ooh, like the unit is leaking something. Definitely hasn't been fuel in this thing in a while, so maybe the water got into the fuel tank. It's been raining a lot here lately. Raining almost every yeah every day. Looks like no luck on finding the bell, or if it was down here at one point, it's been removed. I'm, I'll have to look where the bell is on this locomotive. So here it is. Absolutely massive. There's a BNSF yard job. I'm gonna get some footage of him real quick. And here's the black for the big one. 